necessary to I don't feel why we should have to go through with this kind of nonsense but, on television. Mr. Credit. I'm speaking now to Stuart Cranny, who you saw earlier uh, in darkness, but Mr. Cranny has accepted our offer to be seen on national television, giving his, uh, his impressions of what the anti-KISS movement is all about. Stuart, thank you very much. And tell me, how did the anti-KISS movement actually start? Well, Jonathan, uh, some of us, some of us who, uh, who are capable of being objective, who take an overview of this entire situation, have, have become aware of the fact that this, 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 this KISS uh, campaign... Phenomena? Uh, this phenomena, indeed. And we believe that, that KISS is the manifestation of this meaningless, this lemming-like rush into well, the 80s. Mr. Cranny, what, what's actually happening yeah, well, here? This, uh, this, Jonathan, is the, the first encounter. This is one of the early stages in the process. You see these two young ladies here. This is their first day in the centre. They can't see us here, can they? No, um, with these facilities that we have here in the uh, KISS rehab centre, mm. uh, the, that's a mirror surface. What they uh, see in there is indeed a mirror. Oh, they I don't realise that there is this room behind the mirror from which we can now see them. Yeah. KISS, the product. You've been threatened? Oh, yes, yes. I've had calls in the middle of the night. I had a brick through the laundry window, came straight through with a little note wrapped around it saying, I want to meet Kiss mm. 1,000 times. Please, can I meet Kiss? And this is the sort of... This is That's a, a thinly veiled threat, Jonathan. Yeah. That's a threat to my well-being, to my choice of uh, my individual way of life, where I choose not to be a fan of KISS. Well, it's a brave stand you're making, and congratulations, Dr. Cranny. Okay, John, thank you. Uh, it's wonderful being on a, a program with this much integrity. Summertime's a